These are our five go-to props for getting some great candid style shots for our family photo sessions and why we think they work so well. So let's break them down so you can go into your sessions confident that you're going to get some great shots of your clients. Number one is tickling. This is an amazing beginning prop because parents know just the right buttons to push to make their kids laugh. Um, there's also this lovely thing that happens where you can see genuine joy on both parents' faces and their kids. Uh, the prompt is a low barrier that doesn't make people feel all that self-conscious. And the reason I start with this one is because I usually get all of my pose shots first and then finish with my candids. I end these pose shots with the group family photos, so tickling makes sense since I don't have to rearrange anybody. I start by very quickly saying, okay, mom and dad, I'm going to count to three and I want you to tickle. One, two, three, go. And it usually happens right away. We love it because it helps get some genuine smiles from little kids who might have trouble getting authentic smiles during the pose shots. And usually the dads who are a bit stoic, we can get a real smile out of during these. This one also works when you have parents one-on-one -on -one with a child as well. Number two is running to mom and dad. Kids run all the time, which is why running to parents is one of my favorites to use, especially with younger children. Uh, it's a fun way to reward them for being good sports uh, for all the posed photos when their attention is still easily directed. That's why we usually do this one later in the session. So there's two ways I love to set this up. The first way is to set up parents several yards in front of the camera and have them crouch down a bit. Then I move the kids behind me and I count them off like it's a race and I tell them to run and hug mom or dad. I'll do this a few times and I like to move a bit closer to them each time. Also, make sure you have your camera shutter speed set really fast, like one over a thousand. Yeah. Yeah, one over a thousand or faster. Uh, and if your camera has a burst mode, that's amazing to use uh, during these shots as well. The second way to do this is to set the parents up about a foot behind you and have their heads level right behind you so that you can get the children's eyes looking as close to the camera as possible. If you're liking the color grading on these photos we're showing you, we have more videos about how to achieve this as well as our presets down in the... the, 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 the down in the description. Down in the description is fine. Number three, big kisses. Big kisses are an easy prompt for young kids to follow along, and there's three easy variations to this prompt. Two for a single child and one for multiple children. With really little kids, this is great even though they may not be able to talk as they can definitely understand kisses. So with a single kid, I like to ask them to kiss mom or dad and their parents are usually good about helping to get them to do it. You also get some cute pictures like this that are really genuinely candid. The second variation, um, I like to then ask mom and dad to kiss their kids. So if there's one kid, we usually do like a, a cheek kiss sandwich. It's super simple. The third variation, and moms kind of love this one, is if their kids are a little bit older or if you have multiple kids, then we turn the tables and we like to ask them to all find a spot on mom's face to kiss uh, and hold it there. I get some good smiles and laughs out of this one. Number four, walk towards the camera. Okay, this one is a standard prompt, but the thing that makes it work is when the photographer pays attention to the little detail. Like the prompt is simple, but it's kind of like easy to mess it up if you don't know how to direct your family and pay attention to the details, right? Right. But let's start with the ladies first. We want them to look elegant, so we ask them to walk as if they're walking on a tightrope. Imagine there's a thin line that points directly past the camera, and you have to place your feet on it. Uh, this gets moms to have a super flattering silhouette. Um, as they kind of walk like one foot kind of crossing over the other. Uh, and it helps make the girls look a little bit more dainty. Um, and if they're wearing a long dress, one thing we like to do is like with the, if they're on the outside of the group, their hand is give it a little flare every few steps. It helps it look a little bit more natural when we freeze frame them. I also ask them to run it back a second time while holding their husband's arms on the inside and every now and then rest her head and look at each other. For the dad, I like to ask them to roll up a sleeve while walking or pull mom in to give her a little kiss as they walk towards me or tossle a kid's hair if the kids are tall enough to reach without bending down. For the kids, um, if they're small, uh, ask for one hand in a pocket. It helps if they have like a fidget toy in there to play with while they're walking. It helps them look a little bit more natural. Uh, and also ask if mom or dad can make some fart noises with their cheeks that usually get some good genuine smirks out of them if they're not expecting it. The big thing is make sure they're walking away from the sun so you avoid all of the harsh lighting and squinty eyes. That's just a general rule of thumb when you're taking photos in harsh lighting. You want to move people 
Back to the Sun and Into Shadows. Number five, follow the leader. This is one I usually end our sessions with as it's the most fun for the children when they're tired of posing. I let them explore and have mom and dad follow along at a distance and ask them to hold hands and watch as their kids play. This sets up the stage for getting some real discovery on the faces of the children and letting them play. Be prepared to have your head on a pivot. You'll be running all over the place. Mom and dad are going to have some genuine looks of love towards their kids and at each other and have these moments of small little affections. So if you have something like a 70 to 200 millimeter lens, this is the time to bring that one out as you're going to be pivoting between your subjects um, and between different distances. Sometimes you're in between them. Sometimes you're in front of them. Uh, sometimes you're running after a kid and you have to quickly turn around and take a picture of another kid who's discovering a turtle or something. Yeah, you never know what the kids are going to do either. This is also a good prompt to help those type A moms who want everything to be perfect and who try to take control of the session to let go and relax a little bit more as it sets the expectations to be a bit more freestyle and help them to not squash the vibes. You got to take control of those situations pretty fast. So pull this one out first if that's the type of mom or dad that you're dealing with. Yes. Hey, if you like this video, let us know uh, in the comments below if you want more posing tips. We also have other videos that teach you how to color grade and edit some photos as well. Uh, like we said, we have some link to those presets if you want to just skip the learning process and apply them right away. We use them on a lot of our pictures that we're showing you during this video. Thanks for coming. We'll catch you on the next one. Bye.